Where's Shutter Cock, everybody? Here's a message from your, your, your local base shop. <laughs> well, it's local to some people. Ain't local to a lot of other people. But Shutter Cock. All right, so today, you, I don't know if you can see behind me or not. And this, you guys already know that I love Music Man's. So, that's a wrap. He's it, like, oh yeah, he does love Music Man. Like, I do, I really do. So, today I'm bringing you a Music Man. What, what else can I say? I'm bringing you a Music Man. But today it's a different Music Man. Say different. Say it with me. Different. I So that's okay. This is a 2002, and you look at it, she's beautiful! And she's got war paint. Got some war paint right there. War paint right there. Woo! And she has a thumb rest. <laughs> a thumb rest. I didn't know your thumb get tired. <laughs> and, and up here, you can see it. It was one of the old music, man. And look, more oh, war paint. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Sweet. I right, like today. Oh, well, let, let me take you through what's going on with it. All right, so what's so different about this music, man? It's really nothing different, is it? Yes, it is. You can see there's more knobs. More knobs means something else is happening that's normally not in the Music Man characteristics. I said characteristics. I don't think I should put an S on that. Characteristic. All right, anywho, check this out. So, you got volume, and I'm gonna skip this one, because you don't know what that is yet. But that's a blend. <laughs> I said I was gonna skip it, but I didn't. All right, so, and then you got treble, mids, and bass. Now, let's go back to this girl right here. What the heck is that? When I say blend, means there's something going on different in this bass. The different thing is, it has piezos in the bridge. Can you see those? They're piezo, that's a piezo bridge, all right? In that piezo bridge, that's what this does. If you turn it downward, it's the, it's the pickup. If you turn it upward, it's the piezo. If you leave it in a detent, and I said detent, that's both of them. Now look at the pickup. What's going on with that pickup? It doesn't have any holes in it. <laughs> I took the holes out. No, I didn't. That's a Ken Armstrong pickup. All right, it didn't come with that. Neither it came with that either. <laughs> It's got the rosewood neck. All right. So, the greatest thing about this bass is, it's a music man. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, so, so today, we're going we gonna to get a chance to hear how she sound. I'm coming through my uh, BG250, which is my TC Electronics sitting over there in the corner. You can't really see it, but it's over there. All right. So, I'm going to come through that. And um, we will get a chance to hear what this girl sounds like. And it's interesting to me. All right. So I got everything basically flat. So I, I hope I'm not too loud. So I got everything off. I got the, the treble off, the mids off, the bass off. And basically what you hear is just the pickup itself. Because I got... I got the, the second knob, I has it down. So that's where you get the pickup. That's what you hear. That's that Ken Armstrong. Now we already know that Ken Armstrong was making Ken Smith pickups at one time. So it has that vibe. I love that vibe, man. I love Ken Armstrong stuff anyway. It's, it has that, that booty thing happening. But softly, so the soft booty. I said, I said that. Go. I sigh. All right. So anyway, so it have that softness in the mid. All right. So now let's hear the piezo by itself. 
Now, what do I like about the piezo? A whole lot of things. For solo wise, it has that acoustic sound. Sound. Now a lot of bass players are not used to that. It's all good. It's all good. Upright players will probably really dig this. Alright, so now if you put put the second knob back in the middle, you get the the music man pickup and the piezo working together. Now you're getting two worlds doing one great thing. Two worlds, one great thing. Now the pickup that was in here at first was a original Music Man pickup. For to me, now I'm saying to me, it it was too much high end going on. Like you have the piezo that comes in, and the piezo has a high end ish already. And then you have the Music Man uh, pickup, which is totally if you turn it on, you know, it's just MIDI all over the place. It was too, to me, I'm saying to me, it was too much mid going on for me. So I think that Ken Armstrong brought some serenity to it. <laughs> Boy, you better talk. You better talk like a doctor. All right, so to, to me, the, the Ken Armstrong just brought the calmness in the storm. You almost sounded like a pastor too. <laughs> You've been listening. All right, so... So that's that's my take on that. So let's keep going. Um, so we got the pick. We got both pickups on, and you can hear the difference. You can hear the piezo. Let's go to piezo. Pick up. right for me. I didn't say for y'all, I said for me. So now, let's go to the uh, EQ and let's see what we can dial in. Let's go to our uh, trouble detent. When I start going to that trouble detent, you can start hearing a little bit more of the piezo coming in. Still got the music man underneath though. Yeah. So now let's go to Miz D10. Now, if you really learn this bass, I'm telling you, there's no worlds that you cannot venture into and conquer. Boy, you got some stuff going on today. <laughs> In which is like the Yamaha came out with the piezo and the TRB basses. Like I have the TRB 6P, so I really love that bass because it, it gives me a different world to work in. <laughs> a different world to work in. I love that. All right, so let's keep going. So now let's go trouble all the way. Now listen to that. Now coming through a mix, this thing is killing. I mean, listen to this thing. Oh, baby. 
bass all the way because it's gonna be too much. All right, so I just go three quarters. Now, let's cut everything back because we already know the purity of this bass already. So now we're going back to reasonable detail. And so let's see how this song funk. Woo, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. So let's see how it sounds in just Paisio only. Pick up on it. through this bass and studying this bass correctly I mean really getting into this bass learning its variety of tones oh my god there's no word in music that you can go and can't conquer I'm just saying that's just me talking now other folks may have something that's different to say but me with that bass right there and just think if there was a five for all you super five players man that would be crazy. That's just bananas. But this is a four. And just that four is killing. Just this four right here is killing. So my opinion of this bass, <clears throat> I love it. I think it's amazing. I think you you can't get it and gig with it the same night and expect to uh, pull the tones that you want if you don't know it. But once you sit down with it, oh, my G, you can get some stuff out of this. So there you have it. Johnny Lee Long and the Hobo Depot. Shot a caca with the music man with the paizo and the bridge. And the Ken Armstrong pickup. Peace out.